Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me this last Tuesday of April. Can you believe April is almost over and we are on to May? This year is going by quick. So I just wanna share with you some exciting news to start off. Uh, Stampin' Up! is offering my favorite promotion, free shipping this Thursday on all orders over $75. So it's a great time to get any of those last chance items that you wanted or some of the items that are gonna see price increases in the next catalog, like the cardstock and uh, other things like that. And I'll post a list again on my Facebook page. I posted one previously, but uh, I'll post it again so you can see what items are going to increase in price uh, next month in the new catalog. So uh, get your lists ready. This Thursday is the day and uh, let's see. Oh, I still have the March code up. So um, I'll show you the April code when I switch views. Um, so make sure you're ready for Thursday and I will send out an email with more information today and on Thursday as well. So if you are not on my email list, you can go to my webpage, elainescreations.net, and on the right is a little sign up area and you can sign up and not only will you receive information about specials, but you'll also receive my monthly newsletter with uh, tutorials as well as uh, my upcoming classes list of classes that you can, um, if you're local, come to in person or if you're not, you can purchase card kits for. So uh, today I'm going to do the uh, Seize the Day bundle. I've been super excited to do this because there are just so many possibilities with this bundle and using some of the uh, Waves DSP and uh, the Gentle Waves background stamp again. I just love that background, so I'm going to use it again um, before it is gone in uh, at the end of June. It will be gone. So um, I just wanted to take advantage of that. So I'm going to be showing you a fun shaker card. Love shaker cards and a gel card. I haven't done a gel card in a while. And so I had to uh, figure some things out, but I figured it out. So I'm going to show you a gel card and then a fun uh, underwater card where you can make it look like you're underwater. All of these cards look like they're underwater. So super fun. Um, thanks for joining me, uh, Connie. It's always great to see you and Melanie and Mary Ellen. Thank you. And uh, over on YouTube, we have Susie Q. Thank you so much for joining me and uh, invite your friends to join me as well. I would love to see them as well. All right, so I do a raffle prize every week. And if you say hi or comment or uh, share uh, what you think of the cards um, and share the video, I enter you into my raffle to win a cute little prize. So last week's prize was the adhesive backed hexagons. So super cute, they're part of a suite in the mini catalog. The name is escaping me right now. Um, but I'm bum. I'll think of it later. I think it's abstract beauty. I think it just came to me. Um, and the winner is Kathy Zetz Crows. I hope I said that right. So congratulations, Kathy, a PM Mir address, and I will send your cute little prize out to you. And then this week I have a fun prize um, that's retiring. Um, so you won't be able to get it soon anymore, but it's these cute square gems in the retiring in colors. So uh, remember to say hi and share this video so you can win these cute little gems. Alrighty, Roo. And as always, if you guys have any questions, suggestions, or um, things that you want to see, uh, let me know and I will do my best to uh, accommodate that and create videos for you. I'm gonna be doing an upcoming, uh, a couple of upcoming series. I'm gonna be doing one on Switcher Studio, the software that I use to switch between my iPad that's on right now and then my iPhone that's up there. And I also have a Switcher Cast, which is on my laptop, and I can switch to that as well and show you my screen um, as well on there. So um, super nice software. It's the best software that I've used that uh, does the switching. And so I'm going to be doing uh, three videos showing you how I use it and tips on using it. So stay tuned for that. I'm also going to be doing a series of uh, 
videos on tools. Um, I'm going to be doing uh, my favorite tools video as well as uh, just some really quick uh, tool tips. So stay tuned for those as well. All right, so let's see. Hey, Tiffany, I hope your move went well. It looks like you're in your new home. It's so exciting and fun. I'm so excited to, for you to be there. It's exciting and it's hard work all at the same time. So, all right. So now I'm gonna switch to uh, my other view here. Let's do a preview. And it looks like it's like a little, it's lagging behind, which is interesting. Okay, I'm gonna try this and see. Okay, so um, right now it's showing my notebook and I'm not sure why it's frozen on my notebook. It should be showing my hands. So back to me. Um, so I'm just gonna double check my phone right here. So I've got my phone up here. Okay, and there was a little message, so that's why it was interrupted. Okay, and I thought I put everything on like do not disturb, so it's kind of strange um, that that came through. But it's still not showing the current thing, so that message kind of, sorry, uh, changed things, but everything looks good on here. So one thing that you do have to do uh, when you're using switching is you have to turn off all notifications on all your devices, turn down the sound, make sure everything's down so you're not hearing dings and things like that while you're trying to video. So I'm going to um, delete that view and then I'm going to add it back. Okay, and it's not showing. Of course, camera done done okay and then I'm gonna remove this one too because that one's everything got frozen from that okay so now I'm sorry I'm going to um, going to close that and then I'm going to go back and add it, input, and it's not showing share this device, share this camera. Okay, add source, camera, 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 save this camera, tap the device name. Okay, done, done. Okay, waiting to connect to the switcher. Okay, so wow, I'm having my first technical problem here. So I apologize. Um, so let me know how your weather is while you're waiting for me to figure this out. And uh, we're having rain today here, which um, is great. We need rain. I know we always need rain. Okay, so I'm gonna try the display again on the MacBook and see if that works. It's trying, okay. And so it got that going. Okay, that's good. And then I'm not sure what's up with the phone. So I turned that off. I've got nothing else on. I'm gonna go back in again. And then I'm gonna go to input. And it's still not there. So camera, share this device, share this camera, tap the iOS device name in inputs tab of your main iOS. Uh, add source, connect by URL, and enter this URL. Can I copy it? I can't copy it. Connect by URL. All right, I have to enter in all these weird numbers. 192 uh, dot 168 dot. Okay. Okay, that worked. That's interesting. Okay, we're back in business. There we go. And then I'm just gonna zoom, zoom in and adjust this. Boop. 
and then pull it that way. Whoops, too much. Right about there. Okay. All right. Yay. Okay, there's my hands. Yay. Okay. So, a couple of cards. So we're gonna do this shaker card first. Isn't that super duper fun? And I decided to use some funky colors. I, I like these funky colors. I added some pink and I usually don't add pink, but I thought it would be super fun. So to start, I am going to use, and I need to grab um, some. Okay, so I've got the cardstock. You're gonna need two. Uh, pieces of cardstock and a window sheet and these are all going to be the window sheet is going to be four by five and a quarter and then both of these are going to be teeny bit smaller three and seven eighths by five and an eighth so for the first one we're going to do some blending and then cut out that's the easier way to do this and my scrap paper has disappeared of course so I'm going to grab this scrap paper over here Okay, so we're gonna do uh, three colors. We're gonna start with, and these are some of my favorite colors, Coastal Cabana and uh, Blending Brush. Yes, I do uh, dedicate blending brushes to one color. I'm just lazy, I don't wanna wash them. <laughs> and so I'm gonna get some nice Coastal Cabana down here. All right, and then I'm gonna do Garden Green. Garden Green, or I'm sorry, Granny Apple Green. All the GGGs, okay? And I'm just gonna come in from the side over here, and I'm gonna blend down into the Coastal Cabana a little bit. I think it looks cool when you, when you do that. Okay, and then my last color is polished pink. And I've got these little things that I'm gonna tape off for later. Um, so I've got some polished pink. This is such a fun color to do with these two colors. So I'm gonna put some polished pink on the top. And you notice I'm not really um, going into the middle because we're gonna cut the middle out with the dies. Okay, so now I've got that all colored and I am going to color the other piece while I'm at it and the other piece is just going to be Coastal Cabana. So let's see, that's Bermuda Bay, Coastal Cabana. So I'm just going to do the whole thing like a really light Coastal Cabana because it's going to be the back, it's going to be the underwater, we're going to stamp some seaweed on it so that'll be fun okay I'm gonna do a little bit more a little bit more it's fun you can get all kinds of different looks from the blending brushes you can get you know really smooth looks or you can get kind of I'm going for an underwatery look obviously now I have green nails. I'm gonna grab some wipes. <gasps> Always have to have the wipes handy. Had them ever since my kids were in diapers and they just are still continuing to be useful. So I go to Costco and stock up on them. You guys still use wipes even though you might not have kids? I do. Okay, so now I'm going to did I stamp this in Coastal Cabana? No, I just used the um, daubers. So this is one of my favorite tricks to do. So I'm gonna do Coastal Cabana and Granny Apple Green. And I'm gonna do the Coastal Cabana kind of all down in here. I'm just gonna go over that so I don't have any sharp lines and just kind of lightly go around the edges a little bit. And then I'm gonna do the Granny Apple Green sponge dauber. Okay, and I'm gonna just go around the edges and then come in a little bit so that I am blending into the Coastal Cabana here. Okay, and 
and then I'm just gonna stamp that right over. Let's see, this is the stem. Okay, so right about, I'm gonna do it higher. I'm gonna do it lower, right about there. Okay, if you wanted to, I think I'm gonna do another one down here, just lighter. Okay, so that's gonna be our background. And then the last thing we need to stamp are some bubbles. I love the bubbles, they're super cute to make it look super underwatery. And then I'm gonna flip this 180 so I get a different look here. We'll do some over here, and maybe some over here. All right, so that is ready to go. And now we're gonna cut. So we're gonna cut the middle out of this, and then I already have the uh, Bermuda Bay <coughs> pieces cut out with the dies. So I have this piece, I'm sorry, Coastal Cabana, and this piece. So I've already got those cut. And then I have this piece, which is just going to be adhered down flat. And I'm gonna do all the sides. Okay. So I've done all the sides here. So I'm gonna put that aside and then I'm gonna use the blending brushes on these, but I'll save that until after I cut this. So here is the stamp set, Seize the Day. And I'm gonna come over here and grab the dies because I was using them. <laughs> so here are the dies. Um, we've got the two fishies. I cut out the fishies and the jellyfish. I don't like jellyfish. Crabs, I love crabs, I love to eat them. And then octopus, and then our seaweed. Um, and then we've got these little things and we've got these cute uh, bubbles that you can cut out. I'm sorry, I needed to scoot over so you can see, okay? So we're gonna use this big die right here to cut our scene out of there. And it's just barely gonna fit here. So let me move these aside. machine. You need the big machine for this one. Okay, so I'm going to put it right about there. And then I'm just going to put this on here. Maybe I should go this way. There we go. Okay. Um, hi, Mary. Thanks for joining. Okie dokie, we're gonna just roll that through. And I apologize for all the noises in the background. We are renovating two bathrooms and my college son is home and my daughter's not feeling well, so she's home from school today. So I have a full house. <laughs> Which I love, but at the same time, it's noisy. Okay, I'm gonna scoot this over here so I can move this back. And then I'll put that over there. Okay, so now we have our piece cut out. So cool. Okay, and then we just have a few little pieces. And then you can use the back of this to stamp like your octopus or something else, but um, this is just easier to blend the colors and then cut it out so that you're not dealing with all these tendrils and possibly bending them backwards and all that good stuff. So now we are going to add some adhesive all around and I'm going to bring back my scrap piece and uh, we're going to add the window sheet. So now i got to find where I put the window sheet. So here's the window sheet. And after I add it, we're gonna trim it because it is larger than this piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this adhesive. It's gonna be a little tricky because of the bubbles, um, but I'm still gonna do it. But 
I still, you know, you still have to have adhesive the whole way around. That's why I have a scrap piece here is because I know that I'm going to be going off the edges here. Nope. So I just need some adhesive on the edges there. And then last edge here. Okay. Sticky. So this scrap paper is done. Okay. So now I'm just going to leave it like this and I'm going to place this down about here so that I only have to trim two sides. So one, two, there we go. Very nice, very nice. Okay, and uh, any adhesive will just get off. And then I'm gonna trim this with my little mini trimmer. Love this little mini trimmer. make sure this is square while I'm at it. Looks like it is. Perfecto. Okay, and then you need the fabulous foam strips. So these are amazing. They make it super easy to do not just shaker cards, but slider cards and all kinds of movement cards. So I'm just going to try to put this on the very edge so it's not going over any bubbles and I'm gonna need only like two strips because this will do a long side and then it will do a short side and I want those to be really butted up against each other so that no sequins come out and I'll just trim off this end here a little bit more because I don't want that to show and then we'll get one more of these. And put that on. So easy and quick. Before I had to fiddle around with all of my leftover edges from my regular dimensionals. And this just makes life so much easier and much more fun to make these cards. Okay, so that's the top. And I'm just gonna make sure everything is pressed down nicely. Okay, so we've got the top. And now for the bottom. Okay, so now we're gonna, oop, and I already uh, stamped and cut out my little starfish and uh, I did uh, an octopus as well. And I did a similar thing where I stamped um, the octopus using the sponge daubers in Garden Green. I'm sorry, Granny Apple Green. I keep doing that. And then Polished Pink. So I have a two-tone octopus. So super cute. And then I, I said that I um, got those out. So now I'm gonna just uh, use the blending brush on these a little bit. So I'm just gonna, on the bottom, give it some color. And then it's easiest to go whichever direction. I'm gonna need some more ink. Um, the leaves are going, because if you're trying to force it the other way, then they're gonna bend back. So we're just gonna add more ink here. And then, um, oh yeah, last but not least, we're gonna do a little fishy. So we're gonna do the fishy that's swimming this way. So I'm just going to um, stamp the little fishy on this piece of white. And I used um, Coastal Cabana on the bottom of the fishy. Coastal Cabana. And then I used Granny Apple Green. 
on the top of the fishy. So this is kind of what I did with the octopus. Let's see what this fishy looks like. Super cute. So you have a two-toned little fishy to match your funky color underwater ocean. So we've got all of our little things here and I already have a fish cut out over here somewhere. There's our little fish. Okay, so we've got all of our elements ready. And now we're gonna get some of the um, sparkle and shine sequins. So these are fun because they sparkle and shine. And they go all over the place. So I'm gonna put, um, since this is such a large area, I'm gonna put three like pinchfuls in there. And they like to stick to me. Okay, there's a star, there's a bead, there's a star, another star. Okay, I think I've got them all. And again, the reason that I dump these on here instead of on here is because it's easier to place this um, when I can see um, through the window sheet. Otherwise, I'll, I'd have to be seeing through this and that's harder to do. Okay, so we're gonna remove the lining from this. And place that down over top, whoops, like that. There we go. Make sure it's sealed down super duper well. And we've got our shaker part. Isn't that fun? All those little pieces in there look so pretty. And so now we can add uh, some of uh, these little elements. So I'm just gonna trim off the end of this one because it's a little bit too long. And I'm gonna use some glue dots to add those two pieces. So I'm just gonna put a glue dot right here. And then I'm gonna stick it into the seaweed down over here there we go and like twist weave it in there so it looks super cool and then same thing with this i'm gonna trim off a little bit and use a dimensional and i'm gonna stick it through this little thing right here and stick it over here like that so it's very three-dimensional and then this is on dimensionals. This one is on a glue dot. So I'm gonna put the glue dot over here and I'm going to entangle it into some of this seaweed over here. So fun. And then the octopus I'm gonna put on dimensionals. So let's see, I'll do, whoops, one of these. And then we will entangle the octopus in some seaweed. We'll have this little thing go in the seaweed. Isn't that cool? So fun. And then of course our fish, I'm just use a regular dimensional. And uh, I'm gonna put our fish, I'm gonna actually put our fish here in the, should I put him like that or like that. I'm gonna put him like that. He's hiding a little bit. Oh, so fun. So, so fun. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Thank you. So super, super fun. Okay. So, oh, I found some more sequins. I'm going to put them back. Can't waste any sequins. No, I can't get it open. Okay. There's a star. I just popped out again and a sequin. Okie dokie. All right, so the second card is so fun. It's a gel card. I don't know if you can see me smoosh, smooshing the gel. Smoosh, smoosh. Can you see that? Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna be using some hair gel. So break out your hair gel that you used to use in the 90s that you still have under your sink, <laughs> like me. 
and uh, we're gonna start with a little baggie. So find a bag that's around like four by six or something, or even narrower would be good. Um, and then let's see, that's that one. So this is this one. And um, I have uh, the piece already cut out and I have some of the uh, Waves uh, DSP because it just looks super cool. Um, it looks like the ocean under the ocean. So we're gonna just adhere that to the back of the card. And then we're going to blend this again with a little bit of polished pink. So we're gonna do polished pink on here. I usually don't use pink, so it's kind of funny that I'm using pink. Well, it's funny to me. Okie dokie, so here comes the pink. Crazy. Okay. So I'm just, I'm gonna go light this time, but I'm gonna add more down here. Okay, and then, super fun, you can color with blends um, the little tendrils and the coral. So I'm gonna color the coral with the polished pink. So I just went ahead and in the dark polished pink, I did all the left edges kind of create some contrast and dimension here. And then maybe a little bit of those edges. And then I just came back with the light polished pink and I just colored all that in. Super cute. And of course you can do whatever colors you want. And then just color this all in and blend this in. So I'm gonna blend that in and then we're gonna come back and color those edges again. Because once they get blended, they get a little bit lost. And so if you want more like definition in the edges, you can come back and do the edges again. And then we're gonna do granny apple green. I think this is dark, yes. And again, I'm gonna do the edges. So there's a little bit up here. And then some over here. And then we've got this and this. Isn't this a fun bundle? There's so many things that you can do with it. And so many ways, of course, to color it. So here are all the little seaweed pieces. And don't forget this one up here. There's one all the way up there. Got that, got a little bit of that. And then we just take our light and we're gonna blend all of this in. So fun. So does anybody have um, kids on spring break this week? This would probably be the last week of spring break. Uh, my daughter had her spring break the first uh, week of April. So we went down to Disneyland because <laughs> uh, I splurged this year. And for the first time ever, I bought season passes. And so we've been having fun going down there. And we just went there for a couple days and came back and relaxed. Okay, I'm gonna use the other side to kind of get closer to some of the coral without coloring the coral. Okay, so we got that. And then I can get this over here. And this over here. Blend that one in a little bit more. 
So you can come back and, and color it, you know, more and do what you want to do. Okay, super cute, huh? So you can do whatever colors you want, obviously. And then this is gonna go on top of here. And I've already cut out our little fishies. So we have a coastal cabana fishy. We have a jellyfish and a pink um, piece. And then we have a little sentiment there. So now we get to do the fun part. We get to add some gel in here. So I'm gonna put some of this away and I'm gonna add some gel. So I found, you want clear gel. And I found I have a couple uh, bottles of gel. So I'm just gonna, <laughs> excuse me, um, put some gel in here. That one's pretty much done. And then this one's got some gel. There we go. That one's running out of gel too, though. You have to kind of keep doing this. And you're gonna need, you know, a good chunk of gel because you're gonna wanna spread it all over this bag. And yes, we're gonna tape the bag closed. Okay, I think that might be enough, but I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Okay, so we've got our gel and I hope we have a good amount. So I'm gonna start kind of spreading it out. Yeah, this should be good. All the way to the edges and not obviously all the way to the top, almost to the top. I love the little bubbles in there. You wanna keep the little bubbles in there. So we wanna go right about to there. So we're gonna get some more over here get some more do, 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 do. over here this is kind of fun it's like play-doh it's like very tactile fun to play with okay so now that we're up near the top we're just gonna fold this over and put a little crease in it and then in the back here this is crazy but we're gonna tape it okay so we're going to cut away um, about half from where we folded so that we have a place to put our adhesive. And so we'll just trim this over here and then we'll add our adhesive to the back here. Oh, it started, but I didn't keep it going. There we go. Can't, it's all clear so I can't see where I've done it but you definitely want to make sure you have he adhesive running the whole way because you don't want that gel to escape okay so there we go there's our piece there's our little package of gel so fun okay and we're gonna just put this on top and yes, some of the edges are showing, but this is the smallest bag that I could find. So if you could find a bag that's like three and three quarters wide, that would be better. But this one is four inches wide and uh, my paper, maybe you could make your paper a little bit wider and then that would, that would help. So I'm just going to uh, put some adhesive like I did before on this piece, but this time I'm gonna use this because I got some adhesive right here. So I'll just use my little adhesive racer, one of my favorite tools that I will be talking about and doing a quick tip video on, on how to like uh, keep it clean and get the gunk off and all that good stuff. Okay, so now we can just go ahead and run this along here. Okay. 
nice and sticky. Okay. Okay. Everything's sticking to it. <laughs> oh, my fishies and everything. Okay. So we're just going to place this on top. Ta-da. Gently, very gently. And then it's going to go on top of here. So I'm just going to put some adhesive on this. It'd be much easier to do that. On all four sides. Okay. There's still a little bit of adhesive there. Ah, I'm moving my whole thing. Okay. So I will clean that. And then we'll lay the gel on the top on here. Ah, I kind of missed the spot, so I'm a little bit higher than I wanted to be, but it's okay. It'll be fine. All right, so now we can add our fun little fishies and elements, and I've got some polished pink ribbon here that I'm gonna just thread through right here. I'm just gonna fold it in half and then fold it in half this way and then tuck it through the little hole here. And then I'm going to thread my two ends through this loop right here. Trying to pull. I don't want to pull that out, so I'm going to pull that and then I'm going to pull this. There we go. Okay, so there's that. So we're going to put everything on dimensionals. I'm going to do the little fishies in mini dimensionals and then we'll do the squid and it looks like I blended the squid too, but this time I'm just going to leave it plain. Just want to see what it looks like if I just leave it plain. And then we'll do the two dimensionals on here. So we'll stick our little sentiment in the weeds here too. And then we'll stick one little fishy up here. So I'm gonna do her like right there. And then another little fishy we're gonna tuck in here. Doo -doo. And then we'll have the jellyfish over here. We'll kind of over put her down here. Or over overlap her a little bit and then I thought it would be fun to put um, some rhinestones on the fish's eyes <laughs> give the fish a little bit of bling so I'm gonna put some rhinestones on their eyes kind of fun ding, ding. and then we've got our gel card so you can like it's very tactile you can play with it just keep it away from the top <laughs> And you can poke it and there's all these bubbles in it so it's super duper fun so I hope you can see the bubbles and gel in there you kind of can kind of okay so now I'm gonna show you how to create an, a little like underwater scene card so I'm gonna use vellum to create this little underwater scene and the splatter embossing folder so I have embossed a piece of three and a half uh, by five and a quarter vellum with the splatter embossing folder. And then I have a piece of Coastal Cabana and I'm gonna stamp this with the, um, doo -doo -doo. I don't know if this is gonna work, but um, Gentle Waves stamp set. And I'm just gonna ink um, half of it because I just want the wave part. So I'm just going to ink to about right there. So like right there. Okay. And then I'm going to turn it this way. I'm going to get everything ready here. And actually, do I stamp from the middle up? I think I stamped. I think I did. Okay, so I'm gonna do it from the middle. So I'm gonna say that's about the middle. Because I wanted those waves like in the middle. 
So I'm going to do it on both sides and this is going to be covered up. So I'm not too worried about that. But if you are, you can go ahead and ink it higher. Okay. And then this is a little bit wider than my hands. And I want to go this way so I can go like this. And then I'm just going to meet that in the middle there. And ink that up. Nice! So we've got our little gentle waves behind us here. And then I'm just going to put some adhesive in the four corners. And this is like adding our little bubbles to our waves. So we'll do adhesive in these four corners and then I'll trim off the bottom because I think it's a little bit longer than this piece. I'm just gonna stick that in the middle. <clears throat> Oopsie, I inked it. Okay. So now I can place this on thick basic white. I'm trying to remember to use this going this way because it seems to work pretty nicely. Okay. I think I'm gonna go this way. And then I have um, a piece cut out with the layering diorama dies because I think those work well too. And let me grab a different scratch paper and Coastal Cabana again and add some color up to about there. And all down there. some more color down here. Okay, and then I've already stamped Wishing You Oceans of Happiness, and I cut it out with one of the dies from the Potted Succulent dies. I think it's Perfect Pots dies. And then we'll do some Granny Apple Green on some of these leaves again. Actually, I did Coastal Cabana. That's kind of fun. So making it two-toned. That's Bermuda Bay. Here's Coastal Cabana again. So I just um, did this thing again. So these leaves were cut out in green apple green and then I'm just coloring the bottoms kind of doing an ombre look. And then I've already stamped two little fishies and I stamped a crab, but I didn't know if I wanted to add the crab, so I haven't decided yet. And then where did my octopus go? Let me look for my octopus. Here's my little octopus. I did the same thing where I inked the octopus. I need to clean this octopus because it's pink right now. So I inked the octopus with Coastal Cabana. And then I added some Bermuda Bay. Where's the Bermuda Bay? sponge dauber. I don't see it. So the other option is to just roll the bottom of it. So I'm just going to roll the little tendrils in Bermuda Bay. So I don't know if you can see that they're darker. And then you can just stamp. And then you get this fun two-toned little octopus here. I also thought about maybe stamping just Bermuda Bay on Coastal Cabana, so you could do that as well. 
but I, I like this octopus. So we're just gonna put this on dimensionals. And since there's an opening, I'm gonna be adding more dimensionals than I typically do. I usually add a lot though. Um, so we'll do some there. And I'll just do a regular one here. And maybe I'll do one up here. Okay. Okay. So what do you guys think so far? Do you like these cards? Do you think you would make cards like these? I sure hope so. Hope you think they're fun. Okay, I'm gonna trim this off again and use some glue dots. I always put my glue dots in some funky place after I use them. And uh, shout out to Shay, thanks for helping me with the comments today, I appreciate that. Um, she gave me a glue dot dispenser, so I need to refill it and <laughs> put it right next to me. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this down in there, so you can just come up over here, that looks so cool. And then I will trim these. Looks like I needed three and I only have two. So I will find, oh, there's the other one. I just missed the other one. So just put a glue dot on this and then place it in. I'm gonna tuck it in a little bit more like that. And then this one. Here. And I'm going to put some leaves over here. And I'm going to trim that and I need to blend this one. So hopefully I still have some ink on here. Yep. Okay. This one down here so we've got all of our little leaves coming out and then we'll put this on dimensional so you had a boo-boo mess up on the other side so I just flipped it over and used this side so I'm just gonna put the octopus down here and we'll do this sentiment here as well and put it over here wishing you oceans of happiness and then we'll tuck our fish in some of the plants. And then I thought about adding the crab right, you know, here, like in the tendrils. What do you guys think? <laughs> like sticking the crab, oh, like that? Yeah. They're having a little fight. <laughs> I don't know, maybe not. Oh, I put the dimensional on the wrong side. Whoopsie. Okay, so I'm gonna tuck this fishy like in this one. And then this fishy will get tucked over in this one. So cute. And then should I leave the crab there? <laughs> I just thought it was funny. Um, you know, I watched this uh, film, or or what is it called? Not film, but like um, something where you like learn about, a video where you learn about something. Oh my goodness, I forgot what they're called. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Um, about um, octo, octopi, or o a, a particular octopus. And she um, becomes friend, well he, the story is about this guy and he becomes friends with this octopus and he watches her and part of it shows how the octopus gets food and so they eat crabs you know so they go on top of the crab and then they just crunch and eat and eat the crab nom, 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 nom. <laughs> wishing you oceans of happiness but don't get caught in the octopus <laughs> no I'm not gonna do that 
All right, so as always, I'm offering these three fun cards, our shaker card and our gel card and our underwater card um, for free when you purchase this bundle. Super, super fun. It is not carrying over into the new catalog. Super sad. So here's the other die. Um, so definitely get it uh, before it is gone. Super cute um, dies that you can use and the bubbles. I should have used the bubbles on somewhere, but I just forgot about the bubbles, but the bubbles are really cute too. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, let's see here, let me go over to, back to YouTube. Okay, sorry that uh, I was kind of off screen there a little bit, Susie. Um, I gotta watch my screen so I make sure that I'm not, and my thing is crooked. There we go. <laughs> oh, fun, fun. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you have enjoyed these cards as much as I have, and I hope you take advantage of my offer to get the card kit for free. Um, you can purchase the bundle or place a $40 order using my current host code, and uh, just email me and let me know that you would like this kit, and I will send it right out to you. Um, next week, I'm gonna be doing some ladybug cards super cute so i've got some fantastic ideas of what to do with this cute little ladybug so don't miss out make sure you watch next week and that you invite your friends to watch as well i will also like i mentioned be doing a series of videos on tool tips so stay tuned for those as well and then lastly don't forget about the free shipping offer this thursday all day free shipping on any orders over $75. So it's a great time to get any of the last chance items that you wanted, clearance items, uh, cardstock or other things that are going to increase in price in the next catalog or anything else that you just wanted to get uh, with free shipping because um, free shipping is always great. <laughs> I love like the free tax or the free shipping offers. Um, because our tax is almost 10% here in lovely Santa Clara County, California. So anyway, um, thank you guys again for joining me and I will see you guys next week.